dad. <laughs> Yaho! Nihao! Annyeong! Hello! Kamusta? This is Group 5. And we are going to National Museum today. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Right now, we are still inside Intramuros. We actually just finished eating here lang sa Solana Street. And the question is, masarap ba yung kinain namin? Of course, not. Kidding. Actually, tapos na sa yung morning class namin. And we have 5 to 6 hours vacant, I think. And that is why we took this chance to see many wonderful creations by our beloved Filipino artists. And as we walk our way to our destination, which is the National Museum, let me just give you a short insight about it. Ano nga ba ang National Museum? The National Museum of the Philippines or ang Pambansang Museo ng Pilipinas is an umbrella government organization that oversees a number of national museums in the Philippines including ethnographic, anthropological, archaeological, and last is visual arts collections. And now that we are inside the National Museum, let me just give you a quick fun fact. This museum is actually free and they do accept walk-in visitors. And also, as we look for a national artist to critic, we took the chance to take photos and quick videos because just to give you a heads up, Paul talaga mag video. And if pupunta man kay dito, make sure hindi kay kagamit ng flash because it will actually damage some artworks. After a while, we have finally decided to critic Felix Resurrection Hidalgo's artworks. <laughs> On February 21, 1853, Felix Resurrection Hidalgo, one of the greatest Filipino painters along with fellow painter Juan Luna in the 19th century, was born in Binondo, Manila, Philippines. In his lifetime, Hidalgo produced over a thousand works which include oil paintings, watercolor, pastels, and charcoal drawings, with subjects ranging from the mythological and historical to landscapes, seascapes, portraits, and figures of the genre. An example of his work is the La Barca de Aqueronte. While walking around the Museo, one of the artworks of Felix Hidalgo caught our attention. The artwork is Hidalgo's allegorical oil painting, La Barca de Aqueronte. It was inspired by his reading of Dante's Infernus during his trip to Italy. It is neoclassic in style and it is Hidalgo's interpretation of damsels journeying across the river of Acheron towards the gates of hell or hate. So La Barca de Acheronte is a captivating painting that evokes a profound sense of melancholy and misery. 
the artist masterfully captures the dark and gloomy atmosphere of the mythical river Acheron, which serves as the boundary between the world of the living and the realm of the dead in Greek mythology. Looking at the painting, we saw the use of muted colors and soft brush strokes that adds to the somber mode, while the hauntingly distorted figures in the boat enhances the eerie ambience. The composition effectively draws our attention to the central boat, which symbolizing the journey towards the afterlife. And overall, La Barca de Alcaronte is a haunting and thought-provoking artwork that explores the themes of mortality and the unknown.